welcome back. I'm pretty excited to film today because finally I'm bringing fashion back to this YouTube channel. I'm so sorry to everyone that obviously subscribed because they enjoyed my fashion and my style, my personal style and what I like to wear and how I wore it. I've just not had as much time unfortunately to kind of put fashion pieces together and styling outfits and look books and hauls, I've just not had as much time with moving and all that. But enough of the excuses, it's finally here. I have so many new things to show you. So in that case, this is almost a haul slash lookbook slash outfit inspiration video and I really hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna make a start with one piece that I haven't actually worn out yet because I'm saving it for Fashion Week actually. And it's a piece I saw on the Topshop website and it's a pair of button up culottes. So it's almost like a jumpsuit that goes down all the way into culottes at the bottom. The nice feature about this jumpsuit though is this cut out back. It's almost like a triangular shape cut out back but your bra is still covered, which is quite nice. But it's so cool and such a kind of statement piece. I wore the culottes with these beautiful new Pearl Victoire heels that you might have seen in my last favourites video, actually, I think it was. I'm just loving these for wearing with black outfits, just add a bit more of a chic and stylish element to them, so I wore those. I finished off the outfit with this lovely khaki green trench coat. It's a midi length trench coat rather than being all the way to the floor and being a little bit too much and too heavy for the outfit. But I just thought it was quite a casual and cool piece to wear over the top and I love the colour combination. So that is from Glamorous. Moving on to outfit number two and these are two pieces from Lipsy that I've picked up recently. First being a really lovely midi black dress in a quite illustrious and elastane fabric. So there's quite a lot of stretch to this and it's also ribbed. But I really liked the sort of high neck turtleneck style to it and the cropped three quarter length sleeves and it just fits in all the right places so I really really like that and I wore that with a Lipsy jacket, this gorgeous little sheepskin style pink biker jacket, aviator jacket with lovely sheepskin cuffs and sheepskin again to the inside. It won't be sheepskin because it would be a lot more expensive but it's that kind of faux sheepskin so it's a shearling fabric inside so it's super warm especially with this almost faux leather outing as well and it's got a great structure to it so I thought they were lovely together I also wore them with a new pair of boots from Next I might have shown you these before I'm not sure but a really easy to wear comfortable pair of boots from Next and I'm also wearing a pair of shades from Ray-Ban the Club Masters in black with gold hardware which I absolutely love at the moment so I wore those as well okay outfit three so first of all so I built this outfit around this particular item these are from Misguided and they're a very dull dusky pink a uh, pair of cigarette trousers, sort of ankle grazer length and I wore those with this top that I also got from Topshop with short sleeves, a ribbed effect, it's very very similar to the dress actually from Lipsy but this time in a ordinary t-shirt length so you can tuck it into everything so I thought it would go perfectly with those trousers so I really really like those together. Just to keep it a little bit more casual I also styled it with a pair of flat shoes and I went for these ones, these are from Shelley's really lovely style actually, the way it goes quite high up at the back with this little toggle they're a wool grey outer body black piping and white rubber soles but they're quite a casual shoe and I thought it would just make it a little bit more casual and as something just to throw over the top of those I went for this jacket which I've done a blog post on recently and it's this black and white paint effect jacket, duster jacket really this is from Girls on Film from littlemistress.com. It's a piece you can wear with so much because it's black and white, so it'll go with most things. So I thought it looked really, really lovely with this outfit. Outfit five is very, very monochrome. I went very much for the black colours this time. So I went for this little lipsy vest top. Just very casual, basic, easy to style. It's the kind of thing that you could just do with having in your wardrobe for the days when you have a lovely pair of trousers or a new pair of jeans and you just want a little black cami. So it's a little black cami from Lipsy with a ruching effect to the centre. I wore that with a new pair of jeans, really cool, very heavily ripped jeans. Over the top of that one, I'm not even taking a label out of this yet, but it's another duster jacket, this time in a black and white checkerboard print. It's a midi length again, quite a long length, kind of half three quarter length sleeves and a very kind of thin, easy to throw on fabric. But I thought it would go really well with this black outfit. It's had a bit of white, a bit of kind of brightness to it. And I thought that was really chic, so I like that a lot. 
And to go with those, I matched it with my gorgeous Alexander Wang boots. I don't wear these enough, I should wear them more because they're absolutely stunning with the rose gold inside. I'm pretty sure you can still get these, I'll try and leave. Obviously there'll be links to every single product from these down below where you can go and buy them if you like them. I'll try and find links for these. And as an extra little accessory, just to gilly that up a little bit, I wore this little bun clip. It's a little bow and it's got some hair grips in the back. So you literally just push it in to whatever you're wearing like this. It's not for everyone but I thought it would just make it a little bit more feminine and just a bit cutesy. And another top that is very unlike anything else I own, but I really like the colours in it and I like the shape, so I went for it. And it's this from Brat and Susie, a really colourful print. And again, I really like this neck, because it's not, it's quite a wide neck, so I really like that style, with the little cuffed sleeves as well. So I thought that was really, really cute. The next outfit works around this black dress, black and white checkerboard print dress from River Island. Again, it's a midi style, which is my favourite kind of dress style at the moment because it means it can go with my favourite type of boots, which currently are over knee boots. And these again are from River Island. They're around £70 to buy these, but they are a type of suede fabric, ordinary kind of rubber soles, and they're quite comfortable as well. So I've been loving these types of boots. So midi dresses have been my thing. So that's why I really, really like this dress from River Island. I know at the top of that, I really had to put it with this stunning Rain Mac. This is from a brand called Rain's. This one is in one of these brand new prints and it's a white snake print, reptile print, but up close, it's absolutely stunning. And Rain's make the most waterproof, incredible jackets. They are such value for your money. Thought I'd also show you my other one that I also have which is in the gorgeous sunshine, sunflower yellow, if you wanted something a little bit different. Some of you may have spotted this jacket in Zoella's recent lookbook that she did when she was out and about and she was wearing this and she looks so cute and I have it as well. So I thought I'd show you that as well in case you were after something a bit brighter for the spring summer, especially for festival season, these are a go-to. Next outfit was built around another product from Topshop it's uh, £60 to start with and um, it's this grey, almost lavender grey blue jumpsuit. It has a wrap over effect so yes you do need to wear quite a low bra with this or no bra if you're brave enough but I would say maybe a low bra and also perhaps possibly pin it as well because you are going to get this gaping as you just generally move around. It's absolutely stunning and I cannot wait to wear this for London Fashion Week. And this is another piece that I bought for London Fashion Week as I thought it would be a lovely statement coat and it's this textured, slouchy, oversized ASOS coat in a lovely bright snow white. No buttons, it's just a wrap over jacket. Kind of thing that you could just drape off your shoulders and look super chic in it. And to go with the sort of blue grey theme that was running through the jumpsuit, I paired it with my gorgeous Ted Baker heels. And last, but certainly not least, is a very final outfit, which was, I suppose, built around this skirt, which is from River Island again. It's got a gold zip all the way up the back, and it fits as a fitted pencil skirt bodycon style. I paired that with this no back and very sexy bodysuit from Misguided. It literally just has straps that you put over the back of you, no bra, because it's completely backless. And over the top, I wore this amazing camel coat. I got this in a size eight, a size six probably would have been a little bit better, but I've got a feeling they didn't do a size six. But it's meant to have that oversized feel, but if you want to kind of think about what size you need, this is a size eight. And again, to finish that off, I put that with my pearly Victoire heels. I thought it was a perfect accessory. By the way, if you're wondering, I'm wearing Max Rebel on my lips and this is my new Victoria Beckham dress. That is just, I love it. And if you're wondering what watch I was wearing throughout the whole thing, it's my Daniel Wellington Boston, no, Bristol watch. Bristol watch in the rose gold and brown strap. Really, really hope you enjoyed that and I really hope it inspired some of your own new style for the new season. Please let me know in the comments which your favourite outfit was out of all of those. I still can't make up my mind which is my favourite. Probably the grey jumpsuit because I really, really love that jumpsuit. But let me know which is your favourite. If you really like the video then do give it a like and subscribe if you're new and in that case I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Mwah.